Kavihuha explains that life skills teachers currently cannot be appointed permanently at schools unless they meet certain requirements. This include at least five years teaching experience as well as two years teaching experience in life skills. He says these appointment requirements are not in the interest of the teachers, neither of the education sector, and do not benefit learners. To, be, to complete your university degree after hard work, but you have to wait for five years to be appointed permanent, and that is unfair. Then we have a scenario where those that have five years teaching experience, they cannot be appointed to teach life skills because they don't have two years teaching experience. So either way, it does not benefit anyone. When approached for comment, Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Public Relations Officer Absalom Absalom, says that the ministry is busy reviewing its stance on how life skills teachers are appointed, particularly on the years of experience required. He confirmed that they use this criteria because life skills has no specialization for graduates during their studies. Another issue raised was the reappointment of staff who previously dismissed on the grounds of continued ill health. Kavihuha says these teachers are currently not reappointed as permanent staff members, even after they are declared fit for work. Imagine that you start teaching with 24 years. When you're 25, anything happened to you and you are boarded, you declare that you are totally ill and you are aborted out of the I mean, public servant. And when you are 27, you recovered. From 27 until you go to 1060, you will never be appointed permanent, only on temporary. What is the meaning of that one? You are denied all the other benefits. We have raised that specific issues and we are very serious about that one. It is completely unfair that young Namibians have to be penalized just because they were sick, as if they had made an appointment to become sick. Absalom says the ministry's reappointment procedures on the issue is based on the Public Service Act, which states that staff with continued ill health issues should be discharged permanently. But he added that the ministry did not yet decide on the reappointment of these staff members on teaching contracts or to give them another administrative post.